Hello everyone and welcome back. This time we are going to discuss how to easily compute the sample size of the population of your research paper and we are going to do this using the languages Tagalog and English. Let us start by differentiating population from sample, from sample size and sampling method. So when we talk about population, ang population ay yung kabuuan. So the totality the total number of your respondents is what you call the population. So if your population are first year students and they have 10 sections, all of those 10 sections will comprise what we call the population of your study. Okay, going on to the next term, we have sample. Sample is now defined as the one that will represent the sample represents the population. So, if you have 10 sections and you have 40 students per section, so let's uh, include it here in our uh, board. So, we have first year students and you have 10 sections. And for every section, you have 40 students. Okay. Now, if this is the case, then you have a total population of 400. Okay. Now, when we talk about sample, which is defined as it represents the population, you will get a specific computed number of students from the 400 population and that that particular uh, computed number will act as the representative of the population so instead of using 400 in business 400 ang gagamitin ninyo at kukuhaan nyo ng data itong sample ang magre-represent doon sa population ngayon ang question is how many will you get from 400? This is where sample size comes in. So, pag sinabi nating sample size, this is the computed, computed number of sample. Okay? So, how do you compute for the sample size? And that is what we are going to discuss today. Now, moving on one more step to the next term which is sampling method when we talk about sampling method this is the process that you will use in order to choose the sample size again the sampling method is the process that you're going to use in order to choose the sample size example if we have computed and found out that our sample for 400 will be uh, 350 this is just an approximation how would you take this 350, how would you choose 350 from the population of 400? Papaano nyo kukunin? And that is what we mean by the sampling method. This is the process on how you will select the sample size from the population. Let's uh, write the definition. This is the process of selecting the sample from the population okay now that we have clearly differentiated these four terms how do we compute for the sample size so we have the following examples we have a population of 2000 basic education students and then we have a population of 1000 800 senior high school students and then the third is we have a population of 900 college students and then we have a population of 400 teachers again if you are not uh, confident in using this particular method in computing for the sample size there is or there are rather there are other formulas that you can use in order to compute for the sample size and for the sake of argument uh, you can try to compare this process with the 
formula that you use. Example of this formula, the most common formula used in computing for the sample size is what we call the Slovin's formula. So aside from Slovin's, we are going to use a more uh, uh, easier way uh, to compute for the sample size. So let's try to answer the first one, which is uh, population of 2,000 basic education students. So I'm just going to shift to my browser where we will use or we will access the application and use it to compute the sample size of 2,000 basic education students. So I'm going to go to my browser and just type Rousoft calculator. And then after that, you can just click the first one that will appear from your browser, Rousoft.com. And then after that, you will be directed to this particular menu. So, if you're going to use Slovin's formula, margin of error is also included in the computation in the variables that you will consider using Slovin's formula. So, meron ding Slovin's, ay meron ding ano, meron ding uh, margin of error as part of the formula ng Slovin's formula. So, here, it is already set by default it at 5%. And the confidence level is also reflected in the Slovin's formula, uh, if I'm not mistaken. And then you have on the third uh, part, the population size, where we will enter the value. And then the, the response distribution is there. And then the sample size, which is, uh, it functions just like an actual calculator. So it will compute in real time. And then you will see the result, which is the sample size at the bottom, which is right now for 20,000 population, 377 will be the sample size. So in our example, we need 2,000, 2,000 basic education students. So the answer is 323 for 2,000 basic education students. So it's 323, 323. 323 so what is this 323 these are basic education students okay next for the sample size of 1800 senior high school students 1800 senior high school students so for 108,000 uh, 1800 students sorry we have 317 so this is 317 317 students and then the next one is 900 college students so for 900 college students again just go back to your rouse of calculation calculator apps and then just enter the population and then immediately you're going to see the sample size result which is 270 for 900 270 for 900 okay so this is 270 students and the last one for 400 teachers for 400 teachers so let's enter the population we need to get a sample size of 197 so 190 seven teachers so again if you are not confident in using this particular application which uses rouse of cal uh, calculator but in our university this is already accepted not only in the college level or in the tertiary level but also in the graduate school level so try to consider this and then if you will ask me how you will put this in your manuscript all you need to do is go to the rouse of calculator and just screenshot this part wherein you enter the population the margin of error is reflected the confidence level is reflected and then after screenshot uh, taking a screenshot you can just paste it in your manuscript so again this particular process and method of computing for the sample size is accepted until the graduate school level so this is where we end our discussion again thank you very much and do not forget to please click that subscribe button 
in our YouTube channel at Doc Ed Padama. And don't forget to uh, click that notification bell to alert you when a new video has been uploaded. Share this with your friends, your relatives, your classmates, groupmates, so that you can also enlighten them. When it comes to uh, doing a more easy way uh, for this particular part of research writing. So maraming salamat po sa inyong lahat. Thank you. Stay safe. God bless. See you on our next video. Bye!